so this here with me is my oneplus nord as you can see and it is running on a custom rom which is the pixel experience rom which is based on android 10 and yeah today in this video we're going to take a look at this rom itself and at the very end of this video i'm going to tell you how to flash this on your oneplus nord so as you can see this is based on android 10 so there we go android 10 and again as i said this is my oneplus nord there you go uh, so i just flashed it and i have been trying to flash it for like two days uh, but they just today released a patch which basically went smooth for me the first patch that i tried to flash uh, i got stuck on the g logo i don't know why but today's build fixed everything and the installation went smooth so first things first is we're going to check out the settings itself and what all do we get in the settings itself and also this is an initial rom video not a review so we're just going to have a look at what all we get in the rom and this is not the full review if you want that make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below for me to know if you guys want a full review of this rom uh, so first things first we're going to check out the settings as i said and settings is nothing new we get all the basic things we have the network and internet we have connected devices nothing is new in that then we have the apps and notifications in this we have the default apps uh, there we go then if you go back we have notifications and in notifications we have a couple of settings so we have the lock screen so notifications on lock screen we could select to show all notifications or to not show any notifications uh, then going back we have advanced and in it we have the allow notification snoozing and all these are the features so we have pop-up notifications we have the notification dots and stuff then we go back uh, we have the battery and in battery we i don't know why we do not get the battery or the show battery percentage in this particular setting itself but we have the adaptive battery as you can see and i prefer to keep it on basically because it saves your battery or it conserves your battery percentage basically then if you go back we have display and in display we have a lot of settings so on the top as you can see we have the brightness level then we have the dark theme and if i enable this everything will turn dark but for this video i'm gonna keep everything on light mode then if you go down we have night light we have adaptive brightness so which is also called as auto brightness then if you go back we have live display so in this we have our color profile so it is set to standard for now but you can select anything you want then we have all the display modes so we have the display mode to automatic to off or to outdoor in the bright sun so if you select this uh, the basically the brightness will jump up a bit and will give you plenty of brightness then we have the color calibration here so we have these features as well if you want to tweak your display uh, then going back we also have the picture adjustment so this is nothing but adjusting your picture or your saturation or basically the image that you will see on your phone so going back we then have styles and wallpapers so we could tweak our styles we could also change our wallpaper we have a couple of pixel wallpapers as well so these are all the pixel wallpapers then going back we have the pride ones so so this is nothing new we have the wallpaper app in the play store so those are all the wallpapers then we have the screen timeout we have screen attention so if you are looking at your screen the screen won't turn off at all so that's a good thing then we have the rotation settings we have font we have display we have the screen refresh rate which is automatic for now uh, 60 hertz will save battery as it says and 90 hertz is what i would like it to be so as you can see we have it on 90 hertz right now then going down we have lock screen display and we don't get the always on oh we do have always on okay so if we turn on the always on and if i just turn off my phone okay I, I don't know if you guys could see it or not but we actually do have an always on screen so it, it is very dim but yeah we do have it and yeah that's pretty good so double tap doesn't do anything i think we have a setting for that so swiping up and then we have the setting for let's see we have tap to sleep we have wake on plug okay also tap to wake so we have that as well so if i turn it off and if i double tap okay so nothing is happening <laughs> i don't know why it is not working so let's see if we turn off the always on display for now and then if we try to you know double tap to wake the phone okay so no it's not working okay so no issues 
so we'll go into the always on again and we'll see lock screen notifications we have the add users we have display music visualizer we have bunch of options here and uh, yeah for now i'll be keeping the always on display off because i i never i never keep the always on display on because i don't like it draining the battery in the background so that's there uh, so again we have double tap to sleep and wake up on plug then going back we have sounds and nothing new uh, we have all the basic sound settings right over here so touch vibrations and stuff like that then going back we have storage and i would like to i mean i always disable the smart storage because that deletes your files over time if you are not using them then going down we have security and in this uh, i have found that there is an there is a new you know way to put your fingerprint in it so if i just select fingerprint and if i just put my password real quick if i go next as you can see there is this new ui to put your fingerprint or to basically scan your fingerprint so i am not going to do it right now but you get the gist right you get the idea of how the fingerprint scanner is so i'll do it later uh, but yeah that is what we get in the security don't worry this is the play system update and we have a new update so i just did not update it to the latest one right now uh, but then we have smart lock as well so we'll just check out what all we have in the smart lock got it and we have these settings in smart lock then going back uh, we do not have the okay we do have a face unlock here as well so that's a good thing allow so yeah this basically will use your front camera to unlock your phone nothing else and it it is a good thing to see this uh, in the rom itself then going down we also have accessibility uh, we have the screenshot and i don't know what this is but it basically i think this is going to use your uh, screenshots to full control of your device okay i don't want to give it right now <laughs> but yeah that's what you get then again all the basic accessibility settings we have it right over here then going down to uh, system and then going into gestures we have these gestures so jump to camera is basically double tap your power button to go to camera so that's actually good to see that it works in this rom uh, then going back we have swipe to screenshot so triple so three finger swipe to basically take a screenshot we have the touch screen gestures as well so this is the one plus gestures that you got on the oxygen os build so it is right here again uh, then going back we have system navigation so we have the gesture navigation we also have two button navigation and then we have three button navigation so that is a good thing uh, i would preferably keep it on gesture navigation we also have couple of settings to tweak the back uh, gesture of the particular setting itself that's a good thing uh, then going back we have a status bar and in status bar we have couple of options here so system icons so if you don't use the nfc or let's say auto rotate or if it shows lte and you want to replace it with 4g you could do that as well uh, then going back we have battery then show low priority notification icons i don't know what this is uh, but these are all the settings or the system icons on the status bar then if you go back we have the clock position we have the show seconds as well battery percentage okay next to icon there we go we have the battery percentage finally then we have the brightness slider uh, show always so it will basically always be on the top there we go and if i just select show when expanded we have the expanded version right over here so that's a good thing uh, then if you go down we have brightness control as well we have the quick pull down from either left or right we have the option to select the number of rows we have the quick setting animation as well so bunch of customization you'll get uh, in this particular rom itself so you can even show seconds here if you want uh, but again that will consume a lot of battery we also have network traffic monitor right over here so if you want to uh, you know ch check your network or check your speeds you can enable that if you want then going back we have rules so this is basically a new uh, option launched with or released with the pixel devices so it's good to see uh, it being in the rom itself so it's a good thing then going down we have de developer options and if you don't know how to enable this uh, basically go to about phone uh, go to build number and tap it seven times then you will be a developer go into system go into developer options uh, and first things first is the icons and font is very big so what i'll suggest you to do is go down and select the smallest width and it will be 360 by default make it 411 
and then hit on OK. And it will basically tone down your display to actually match it to your phone. So the number I put was on or from my Pixel 2 XL. So I kind of like this uh, display not too huge, not too small, you know. So yeah, I'm going to keep this and then again going into settings. So this is the developer options and there are a ton of developer settings here. And I would not recommend you guys to tweak or to mess with anything. Just enable the USB debugging and you are good to go. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we have the system update as well. So this is, uh, so you're gonna get all the new system uh, images once they are released in in the settings itself. So that's a good thing. So check for updates. And if there is a new system update available, you'll get that he right here itself. So that's again a good thing. So that's all for the settings, I would say. And now we'll check out what all we get. So we have the stock apps basically and Again, there is no need to flash the Google apps. It will be included with the ROM itself. Uh, but, for, but for some reason, we don't have the Google camera. We have uh, some other camera, which is right over here. So I think this is the stock ROM camera. So this is what you're gonna get with the Pixel Experience ROM. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but then again, you can always put a Google camera mod, which again, I'll be linking down in, in the description if you want to put it in the ROM itself or or you can also put that on your OnePlus running Oxygen OS. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. We only have these many apps uh, on the Nord and we have the Google now on the or the Google page on the left. So that's a good thing. Then going into the uh, settings of the launcher, we have a couple of options. So enable grid options. That's a good thing. We have developer options as well. So there you go. Then if you go down or if you go back, if you go again into settings, we have, let's see, suggestions. Then we have the at a glance widget. Uh, then we have, let's see, if you go into the styles and wallpapers. So now we have the grid option right here. So it was not present initially. So now we have it over here. So that's a good thing. So four by four, five by five. I would personally keep it on five by five because that's what I like. So yeah, that is all about the ROM itself. And now we'll just go ahead and take a look at how to flash this ROM on your OnePlus Nord. It's pretty easy. Uh, and the settings or the steps to flash it might change in the future. So do not, you know, rely on my method to do it uh, because the method might change in the future. So I'll again post a link in the description down below for the procedure and for the X or of the XDA page, which will basically guide you in the future to how to, you know, flash it on your OnePlus Nord. So for now, this method works, which is the method I'm going to show you. Uh, but in the future, you can just have a look at the page and just check out how to flash it on your phone. So without any further ado, let's get into the flashing procedure. Okay, so first things first I'm going to do is go into your Chrome and this is the or this will be the page for the Pixel Experience ROM and it says what's working what's not working so which is right over here then if you go down we have the uh, installation instructions and then we have a download link so click on the download link and it will take you to this page which is right over here uh, so this, this is the official page of the pixel experience rom uh, so select the 10 or the 10 plus edition whatever you like i would suggest go for the 10 plus edition click on the latest build right over here hit on the download update or the download entire file and will basically download the entire file and hit on OK. The download will begin shortly. Then you also download the down recovery image, which is 96 MB, which is right over here. So you go ahead and download that as well. So once everything is downloaded, what you will do is hit on the, uh, let's see, installation guide, which will open this particular page over here. So these are all the instructions that you need to follow while you know, putting the or installing or flashing the ROM itself. So you again, first of all, need an unlock bootloader to flash the particular file. So one thing I'm going to tell you guys right now is again, flash this on your own risk, uh, because this is not that stable. You know, you would think that it is, but it's actually not that stable and you can easily see the frame drops and few bugs on the ROM. Uh, as of now and again this is an unofficial build this is not an official build so again do it at your own risk if you have a secondary device a secondary device which is Nord do it otherwise don't do it wait for a stable build and then flash it if you want or if you want to use it as a daily 
only then wait for a stable build and then flash it but again if you want to try it just for fun as of now you can go ahead and try it out so first things first is connect your phone to your pc there we go once it's connected you have you'll have the debugging option right over here so hit on always allow from the computer and allow if you don't get this prompt uh, go into the first or the link in the description down below for the sdk hit on the windows and i have read and just download the a file itself so once you have downloaded the platform tools go into your downloads and extract the platform tools which is right over here then what you need to do is also copy and paste the recovery and the official file of the rom so you have to do is copy and paste both of them in the platform tools folder itself then what you need to do is just copy this location so copy it uh, open your command prompt as an admin hit yes type in cd and then paste it there we go and then just type adb devices and you will have a list of your device which is right over here it says my device uh, then what you need to do is just type adb reboot bootloader and what it will do is it will uh, you know reboot your phone into the bootloader mode or into the fast boot mode you can also manually go to the fast boot mode if you want but this is again an easier method to do then once in fast boot then just type fast boot devices and it should show your fast boot device under the option itself so once this is done what you need to do is just follow the steps so first things first is you're going to do is just flash the recovery so so what i will so what i would recommend you guys to do is rename the this is the recovery this is the official file so rename the recovery you could either put something at the end or completely rename the file if you want so you could do that then select the or go into the command prompt again just type fast boot boot and just select the recovery so i had one at the end of my recovery so do that and just hit enter then what it'll do is it will basically reboot your phone into the pixel uh, rom or the pixel recovery and again you need to actually copy the rom file first before uh, doing or before flashing the recovery so make sure you copy the rom file before uh, you know you do the recovery thing and everything will be good then what you need to do is once your device is rebooted in the recovery mode so as you can see this is the recovery mode then what you need to do is go into the factory reset and just hit on the format data slash factory reset and hit on the ok then everything will be done so your data and everything will be gone so once that is done go into the apply update hit on the apply update from adb just select that so once this is done you will have this option then go into your pc and just type in adb side load and then the rom itself so this is the recovery and then this is the official rom and then just hit on the enter button and basically the rom will boot into the phone so once that is done just go back and again this was the final step itself so as this is done go into reboot system now and your phone will be booted into the pixel rom itself so yeah this was all the methods or basically this is the method to flash the pixel rom on your oneplus device itself so yeah that is pretty much it your pixel will then boot into the pixel rom or i'm sorry your oneplus will then boot into the pixel rom and yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions uh, just put them down in the comment section and i'll reply to as many as i could but yeah for now that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one